what's up fam i'm back um i hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's staying safe hope everybody's paying attention um i'm here because this uh, um i broke this i broke this news yesterday last night um on youtube about uh attorney general daniel cameron lying in the whole setup and, and all of that being revealed and certain aspects coming out uh after the fact uh about the officers being uh not being charged and and, and about the the ballistics report about kenneth walker's gun uh and, and the and the bullet that that hit uh maddenly in the thigh uh and and the 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 sorry the sarpy dude the 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 um immigrant that said at uh in march that nobody announced themselves and then changed his story in may and from my understanding has now reverted back to the original story saying that um nobody announced themselves well it, it it's getting bigger and it's getting broader and it's getting more out there and vice news is really 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 a part of this vice news is really hitting hard vice news and the courier journal the uh, louisville courier journal they're really really hitting hard on this thing and they're really giving you the information and a whole lot more information has come out so that's what i want to bring to you to tonight i want to bring to you the information the specific information that has come out so far now um let me maximize this uh i'm gonna read from a couple of articles and i'm gonna let y'all hear some stuff okay now this is the major thing and this is coming from uh the courier journal this was done uh september the 28th um 2020 ag cameron to release brianna taylor's grand jury records after juror complains he misled them and 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 he didn't just mislead them uh you uh, just let me read the article and you'll get the gist of it louisville kentucky an unidentified grand juror in the brianna taylor case is demanding the release of the grand jury's transcript and related recordings so the truth may prevail in a motion filed late monday afternoon now this grand juror has not only breached the uh, uh uh the agreement the confidentiality agreement and the secrecy of the grand jury but this um grand jury has also obtained a lawyer and filed a motion against um the kentucky uh, uh against daniel cameron in a motion filed late monday afternoon the juror also asked a judge to allow fellow jurors to give up their confidential status if they wish and speak freely about the controversial case that saw one of three louisville police officers who fired their weapons at brianna taylor's apartment indicted on felony charges those were not really felony charges well it was it was but it was a class d felony it was it it, it, it was uh uh, uh uh equivalent to the same uh felony that you the same felony account uh charge that you would get if you passed um uh uh credit card fraud uh, or something of that nature the full story and absolute truth of how this matter was handled from beginning to end is now an issue of great public interest and has become a large part of the discussion of public trust throughout the country kevin glow 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 Gore, the, uh, the attorney for the juror wrote in the filing that comes just five days after the indictment. The motion also accuses Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron of using the grand jurors as a shield to deflect accountability and responsibility for those decisions and says that he has that that has led to more seeds of doubt in the process. It specifically requests the court find grand jurors are permitted to discuss what did not take place in the grand jury proceedings, including any potential charges or defendants presented or not presented. Former LMA Fort, well, that's talking about Brett Hankinson being who was already fired from the, de the department uh, or just being indicted for wanton endangerment for shooting into somebody else's apartment and 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 not being charged with anything as far as Breonna Taylor was concerned. During the arraignment, Jefferson Court Judge Ann Bailey Smith also ordered the recording of the grand jury proceedings shall be filed in the court shall be filed in the court file by noon of Wednesday this week, she said. In a statement late Monday, Cameron said he will comply with the judge's orders despite misgivings. The grand jury is meant to be a secretive body, he said. It's apparent that the public interest in this case isn't going to allow that to happen 
uh, two other officers who fired the bullets Cameron said struck and killed Taylor. Uh, Mattingly and Cosgrove were not charged. Cameron said the grand jury agreed they fired in self-defense after Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, fired at them. In his statement last night, Kent Cameron, Cameron clarified the only charge recommended to the grand jury was wanted endangerment, which means, and the, and, and the juror, and the juror says this, the grand juror that is now speaking up says this, says that they weren't even given the option to indict any of the officers for homicide, for murder. It wasn't even an option. It wasn't even put on the table. The only, and, and, and so he finally, now that this juror has come out, and now that this juror has come out, filed this motion, this juror has come out and is speaking up and is not be, and is not allowing Cameron and the system to use the grand jury as an excuse or to, to hide behind the secrecy of the grand jury. Now, all of a sudden, Cameron wants to start clarifying stuff. In his statement last night, Cam Cameron clarified the only charge recommended to the grand jury was wanting endangerment. So that was the only charge that the grand jury could that the grand jury could indict on. They weren't given the option of indicting on anything else, on any other charge. Our prosecutors presented all of the evidence, even though the evidence supported that Sergeant Mattingly and Detective Cosgroves were justified in their use of force after having been fired upon by Kenneth Walker. He's still saying that. During last Wednesday's press conference, Cameron had declined to say what charges the grand jury considered or who it considered charging. But he did say homicide charges weren't appropriate in Taylor's death. Okay, we don't know whether they were appropriate or not because we don't know what evidence was presented to the grand jury. We, we clearly know now that the grand jury was not given the option To, to, to bring, to indict for homicide. The only option that was put on the table for them was this wanton endangerment. Okay, it, it, it's loading again, y'all. You know how it gets stuck, get to doing that crazy stuff. Until Monday night, the Attorney General had refused to release records connected to the grand jury's decision, despite sharp rebukes from attorneys for Taylor's family, who want him to release the transcripts and audio recordings. What we also want is for you to quit dodging the question. You were asked at the press conference Wednesday, did you, recommend, did you make a recommendation to the grand jury? Louisville attorney L uh, Lanita Baker asked, at a Friday press conference, you refused to answer. Answer the question. Did you even present any charges regarding Breonna Taylor to the grand jury? No, he did not. And this, and this grand juror is coming forward letting it be known. We weren't even given that option. We weren't even given the option to, to indict on any charges concerning the actual murder and killing of Breonna Taylor. And Cameron and the prosecutors and all of them thought that they were going to be able to get away with this because the grand jury is supposed to be held in secrecy. But this grand jury was like, oh, no, 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 no. Y'all not fitting to put that on us. When you didn't even present us with the option of charging them or indicting them with homicide. If not, Baker went on to say, we demand that you appoint a special prosecutor to present charges on behalf of Breonna Taylor to a grand jury. It's not too late, she said. We still demand justice for Breonna. The grand jury's motion goes on to state Cameron laid decisions at the feet of the grand jury while failing to answer specific questions regarding the charges presented. Attorney General Cameron attempted to make it very clear that the grand jury alone made the decision on who and what to charge based solely on the evidence presented to them. The only exception to the responsibility he forced it upon the grand juror was in his statement that they agreed with his team of investigate with his team's investigation that Madeline and Cosgrove were justified in their action. The filing says the grand juror wants to promote transparency, but also wishes to remain anonymous given the level of attention on the case. 
So see, he basically, he basically, Cameron basically, basically put it out like this last week. Or when he did his press conference, he basically put it out that the grand jury had been presented with all of this evidence. You understand what I'm saying? And that the grand jury did have the option to indict if they wanted to, but they chose to agree with his team's investigation that Mattingly and Cosgrove were justified in their actions. That's not what happened in the grand jury. There was never even any option for them to indict on homicide, on murder charges, when it came to Hankinson, Mattingly, or Cosgrove. And that's what this grand jury wants everybody to know. Don't try to put that at our feet. We didn't know. You didn't give us that option. That's not the, the evidence that was presented to us. The public interest spread across the entire Commonwealth when the highest law enforcement officials fails, fails to answer questions and instead refers to the grand jury making the decisions. It says the interest of the individual grand jurors is, par is, is parallel to the public, but also manifests as fears of prosecution, persecution, condemnation, retribution, and torment. Unfortunately, they don't they do not get to hide behind any and any entity, person, or offers. Cameron chose wisely in his speech, the Jewish attorney wrote. Now he has another choice in his response. Choose truth, choose justice, together Kentucky. So that's this grand jury coming out, letting it be known that, that Cameron basically lied. Again, he basically flat out lied in that press conference last Wednesday when he said that the grand jury agreed with their investigation that these two fired and were acting justified, you know, uh, 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 to protect their lives and that it was the grand jury's decision not to indict these two for murder. When the grand jury is making it clear that the only recommendation, the only indictment that was placed before them was wanton endangerment. And we see where the grand jury's mind was because the grand jury indicted for that. Then when you got Cameron lying to the grand jury and telling the grand jury that Kenneth Walker shot Mattingly, when there's no conclusive evidence of that, when even their own ballistics report doesn't support that. So he lied to the grand jury. Then he came out and lied to the American public and lied on the grand jury. Okay, but that ain't, that ain't as deep as it goes. Hold on. Now, that was uh, that uh, story in the Courier General. Now I want to come to Something that's a little bit more real. Well, no, this was September the 27th. Breonna Taylor evidence, evidence leaks show charged Louisville cop in her apartment after shooting. Just days after a grand jury issued no charges against the Louisville officer, officers who fatally shot Breonna Taylor, who murdered Breonna Taylor, evidence from the case is leaking out on social media and digital news sites and vices all over this thing, y'all. I just want to let y'all know vices all over this thing, raising questions about the investigation into her death. Video footage reviewed by the Courier General appearing to come from body cameras worn by Lu uh, 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 um, Louisville Metro Police officers at Taylor's apartment on March 13th shows potential violations of policies designed to maintain the integrity of the investigation. In a clip posted Saturday by the digital site Vice News, former detective Brett Hankinson can be seen entering Taylor, Taylor's apartment, Brianna's apartment, while investigators are inside working the scene of the homicide or the scene of her death. I say the scene of the homicide because they murdered her. Hankinson was one of three officers who fired their guns into Taylor's apartment that night. And he was subsequently fired and charged with wanting endangerment when some of his bullets went to an occupied apartment next to Taylor's. Hankinson, Mattingly, Cosgrove fired more than 30 rounds after uh, 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 Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, fired one shot when the officers broke in the door while trying to serve a no-knock search warrant. Now, remember, 
Uh, Cameron also tried to lie and say that this was not a no-knock warrant, but it was. That's the reason why they keep reporting it as a no-knock warrant, because that's what it was. In the body camera footage posted on Vice, Hankinson can be seen uh, talking about a shell casing on the ground saying, that's theirs. That's him asking this question. That's theirs. I guess meaning, uh, 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 I don't know who theirs is supposed to be, considering the fact that Walker only shot one time. That's ours, it looks like. An unidentified police officer responds before telling Hankinson to back out until they get PIU, the Public in Integrity Unit, in here. Hankinson doesn't a exit right away. Instead, asking, are there any guns visible? As he shines a flashlight into the apartment. He then asks if there's a long gun. Now, this is Hankinson on the scene after the fact. And because he was a part of the shooting, he was not supposed to be anywhere near the scene. He was not supposed to be anywhere near the scene of the, uh, 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 of, of, of the accident, the scene of the crime. To protect the integrity of the, 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 the crime scene. The former detectives present at the crime scene would violate M LMPD policies intended to keep away officers involved in a shooting from the active investigation. The video and other evidence from the Taylor investigation has been tightly guarded. For months, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher's administration and LMPD have refused to release documents in the investigative file, prompting the Courier General to sue for access. LMPD spokesman Lamont Washington declined to comment Sunday. I bet he did, stating the, in, stating the investigative file has not been released by the apartment at this time. He added LMPD's internal review of the case is ongoing, so it would be inappropriate to comment. Spokespeople for Fisher did not immediately respond to an email request for comment. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron also has declined to release the evidence in his investigation. He outlined his office's findings Wednesday after the grand jury announced its indictments, but didn't make public any supporting evidence. But we now know that because of the grand juror coming forward and breaking their silence, he's now being forced to release uh, at least the transcripts and the recordings and all of that of the grand jury. But over the weekend, other videos have surfaced on social media, including an unidentified officer walking to the door of Taylor's apartment and asking, is anyone, is anybody dead here? In addition, a Facebook account named Julia Roberts posted Snapchat videos containing clips of apparent body camera footage posted by Kendrick Wilson. Kendrick Wilson is, a, is, 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 is the black investigator that one of Breonna Taylor's lawyers hired to investigate this thing. And you're going to hear more about him. Just hold on. Kenneth w Kendrick Wilson. Wilson told reporter Sunday he obtained the footage from Sam Aguirre, an attorney for Breonna Taylor's family, who helped negotiate the family's $12 million settlement with the city. He called, in, uh, he called on Aguirre to release more of the records he'd obtained under seal, despite the settlement's requirement that attorneys destroy that evidence. Why would you make a settlement? See, this goes back to what... Tariq and a lot of them are always saying about Ben Crump and, and Lee Merritt and some of these other folks. And evidently Sam is a part of this too. Why would you make a settlement when that settlement tells you you have to destroy whatever evidence you have collected in this case? Why would you make that kind of settlement? Why would you agree to something like that? Wilson has a pending harassment lawsuit filed in federal court against Hankinson. Aguirre is his lawyer in that case, taking over as Wilson's counsel in August for no fee, the attorney said. 
In one video clip Wilson posted, an officer he claims is not Hankinson says his rounds went through Taylor's window. In another, an officer can be heard stating that there was a black female shot inside, along with the shooter, indicating that police might have known that Taylor had been seriously wounded before Walker exited the apartment and was arrested. Wilson told viewers there's plenty more where this came from, but in a rambling interview Sunday, he refused to produce more evidence. Instead, he accused LMPD officers of collusion. I'm not going to spend time trying to prove anything, Wilson said, when asked for proof of his wide-ranging claims. I'm going to spend time exposing corruption. Agua confirms he hired Wilson as an investigator in June to work on the Taylor case. Wilson was retained on a contract basis and Agua has paid him roughly $18,500 for his work. Agua also said Wilson appears to have posted the only footage he had access to. When asked by a reporter during the interview Sunday, Wilson said he did know what a PIU or Public Integrity Unit file is. The investigative findings turned over to Cameron for possible charges. Footage shows violation of LMPD policy in shooting aftermath. Vice, Vice's report states in body cam camera footage reviewed by the news outlet, none of the officers present for the raid on March 13 is separated or paired with an escort as required under LMPD policy. That escort officer is tasked with remaining with the officer through the initial investigation, explaining the investigative process, transporting him or her to the PIU office, and verifying that the officer is isolated from all non-essential individuals for the remainder of the initial investigation. According to LMPD's standard operating procedures reviewed by the Courier Journal, Vice also reports Detective Michael Campbell, Campbell, who was at the raid, helps interview neighbors and Cosgrove, the news outlet reports, remains on scene carrying a rifle. The conduct of those officers is noted in an investigative report Vice obtained and a SWAT commander, uh, uh, Lieutenant Dale Macy, later tells investigators that Hankinson was way too up in the mix and that he requested he be separated according to Vice. Wilson has past run-ins with Hankinson. Wilson, 35, had, has had multiple past encounters with Hankinson, 44, dating to 2016, which Wilson outlined in his federal lawsuit filed October 2019. The suit remains pending. In it, he called Hankinson a dirty cop with a vendetta and says he decided Wilson had to be engaging in illegal activity and that he had to ensure his conviction. In his lawsuit, Wilson, now is this the same Kendrick Wilson that Hankinson started harassing after Hankinson saw Kendrick leaving a bar with a chick that he used to date? I do believe so. In his lawsuit, Wilson outlines three times Hankinson arrested him at bars. Yes, that's him. That's the young black man that owned the barbershop and he was arrested and Hankinson just kept on uh, 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 harassing him and all of that. In his lawsuit, Wilson outlines three times Hankinson arrested him at bars where the officer worked as an off-duty security. The arrests are confirmed by court records and all three cases were dismissed. It also says that Wilson and Hankinson had interactions outside of the arrest, including over a relationship with the same woman. Yes, that's him. He also alleges LMPD officers executed a search warrant at his home and barbershop in October 19, kicking in the door of his home and pointing guns at his girlfriend before handcuffing her during the search. Officer seized a legally owned gun and Wilson's license and cell phone, according to the suit, which accused Hankinson, a narcotics detective, of playing a role in the issuance of these warrants, which were carried out by narcotics officers. Roberts also launched 
a GoFundMe for Wilson, describing this as Kendrick's fight against corruption. Please support Kendrick as he fights against corruption, it reads. We still want justice for Kendrick and Breonna Taylor. They deserve justice. Now, I don't know if this Julia Roberts is supposed to be his girlfriend or what, but in this article, you'll see a picture of Kendrick Wilson Wright talks to media Sunday about his social media posts on the Breonna Taylor investigation while his friend Julia Robert holds a gun at Wyandotte Park south of Churchill Downs. So he's standing there giving a press conference in the park and she's standing behind him with 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 look like some kind of semi-automatic uh, 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 I don't know what kind of gun that is but she's standing there with a gun she armed and ready in case anybody decided they want to come down with some foolishness now like I said I don't know whether this is supposed to be his girlfriend or what but uh, she's standing right behind him with that gun making it clear you know now if, if I need to bust off some rounds I'll bust off some rounds But what's real, real interesting about this is that it's very, very interesting that, that, that yes, this is the same young man. And I did a story about him uh, on this channel uh, a few months back uh, and him talking about Hankinson uh, uh, harassing, uh, harassing him and all of that and how it all started when he was coming out of a bar one night, getting ready to get in a cab or something. And he was and he was with a chick that Hankinson used to date. And it started from there and it just went downhill. Every time he turned around, he was being arrested. Hankinson was coming after him. You know, like he said, he lost his business. He, uh, he lost his home. All kinds of stuff went down after this. And he filed a suit against Hankinson in federal court. So this is the same guy. Well, and he's posting all of this, what little bits and pieces that he still has. Because, of course, you know, as an investigator, he had to turn over the bulk of, of the evidence and the information that he was finding, he had to turn that over to Sam Aguilar, I think that's how they pronounce his last name, who was uh, also one of Breonna Taylor's lawyers. Well, what's interesting is now we have an alleged, and I say alleged because, you know, that's, that, that's just basically what we're supposed to say, but it's not alleged, it's real. But anyway, we have a recording. A recorded conversation between this black gentleman here, Kendrick Wilson, who was paid $18,500 to be the investigator for uh, Breonna Taylor's lawyer and the lawyer, Sam. And I want y'all to listen very, very closely to this recording. And um, I also have uh, 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 it listed in the description box uh, because it's been put on YouTube. Okay, it's not trying to come up, so let me go ahead on and, and, and uh, refresh. Very, very interesting conversation. And you got to remember that Sam is also... Not only is he one of Breonna Taylor's lawyers, but remember, we just read that he also took over Wilson's case against Hankinson. His lawsuit against Hankinson. So, see, these two know each other. These two already have a relationship. All right, here we go. Let's get this up. Come on, come on, come on. That's a, that, that, that's enough of loading. It's too short for you to have to do all of that. It's coming, y'all. Just hold your horses. It's coming. So evidently, based on the fact that Sam was able to post this uh uh uh, uh this clip. Of, of of this this clip of body cam footage of Hankinson walking around the crime scene after the fact. This is all the kind of information. This is the kind of evidence that Kendrick was gathering for them throughout this whole um, throughout this whole case. And you're going to hear the reason why he's putting some of this stuff out now. 
what he has access to. And you have to remember that according to the settlement, the $12 million settlement to Breonna Taylor's family, a part of that settlement was that the attorneys on her, on her side agreed to destroy whatever evidence they had. Like I said, who would agree to something like that? So see, it's all in the mix. All of them was in the mix together to cover this mess up. And to cover up what really happened to uh, to, to Breonna Taylor and to keep the police from, from being punished and, and, and being held accountable for what happened to her. It's coming. Being Crump, this Sam Aguirre dude, all of them were a part of the setup. All of them were in the mix. Now you have to listen real carefully now. Listen real carefully. Now you know who it is when you see. Yep. Big bald headed black dude. Head of security. 33rd to guard. 33rd to guard. Mason. He's everywhere. Always quiet playing in the background, but you're always catching right there on camera. Yeah. I believe you. Why do you not now the person you hear talking is Kendrick and, and if, if you listen carefully he just said Sam he said, I, 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 I'm scared to meet with you man to man. He said, I'm scared to meet with anybody. He said, I've been trying to meet. So who the person you hear talk, the person you can hear the clearest is Kendrick. And the person he's talking to is the attorney, Sam Aguirre. Well, Now you keep hearing him say Sam and you keep hearing uh, the other guy, the white guy say Kendrick because that's who this conversation is between Kendrick Wilson, the black guy who has this lawsuit against Hankinson, who worked as the investigator and Sam Aguirre, who, who was, who, who, well, who still is one of Breonna Taylor's family's attorneys. Okay. What you got? You're fucking nine short. You're nine short because only one fucking person is in trouble. And he's not even in no real trouble. I mean, I didn't even ask for the guy to be on home incarceration. I didn't even put an ankle bracelet on him. They all need to do. Do you really think that we could have got camera? Or do you think that we can get camera now? Now you just heard Sam tell Kendrick that he gave everything he had to Daniel Cameron. And, and Kendrick says, Sam, you gave him everything? Question for Daniel Cameron to put out the transcript. How about this? You put out all the fucking evidence that you got. Did you not see what I put out yesterday? You didn't put out what I put out. Put out all the evidence. Put out the video of Brett Hankinson in the apartment moving those cases. Put that video out. Kendrick is going out in about two hours. It's going, yeah, it's going out after I put pressure on you to put it out. The fucking thing should have been out before the decision. Kendrick, you 
was out before the state the AG's office. Sam, you should have fucking went to the public with it. The AG's not on our side, and you know this. I know, but how can I go to the public with it? I would've been taking off the case right away. Who gives a fuck? Is this about you making money or about you fucking getting justice for Rihanna? Put the fucking video out all over the fucking social media. Kendrick, I'm not worried about the fucking money. The millisecond that goes out there, I can't get justice for Rihanna because I put one thing out and then I'm gone. Who, one what, what do you mean I'm gone? gone? You mean killed? What do you mean you're gonna be gone? They gonna kill you? No, I just removed from the case. If I can't well, you know what? The damn. You know what, Sam? And I'm sorry. Well, you know what, Sam? I can promise you this. You put that shit out and you be the dude that gets removed from the case, but your evidence is the one that shows corruption. I promise you this. I will personally start a GoFundMe for you, and if you're the guy who got Breonna Taylor justice, you'll probably make over fifty fucking million dollars off your GoFundMe. I don't care about the well, 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 you're talking about getting removed from the case. What do you care about getting removed from a case that you're not bringing any justice? Jesus. Jesus. Sam, you tell me straight up. You fucking sold out. Let me finish. How has anything that I put out beforehand gotten Brianna justice? Sam, you sold out. You did not put the evidence that me and you answer, answer the question. No, I'm not answering no questions. I was, I'm, not answering, I'm not answering your questions because you're an attorney and you come up with questions that are trap questions. I'm talking about facts. At the end of the day, Sam, me and you solved that fucking case in your office and you did not put any of the body of work that me and you put out. You paid me $18,500 in two months for nothing. You didn't put none of that shit that I came up with out. None of it. Part of the reason I'm out here is because you never fucking told me that you put up the diagram, and I haven't watched the video because I don't want to hear what you have to say. Frankly, I think that's the best to do. I'd have a hard time with it. But you can tell me forever that you threw a diagram of the house, and if you wanted to, if you wanted to tell me, I'd have seen it. You know why, Sam? Because you're too fucking busy going to pointless ass meetings and kicking with Tamika Mallory and all those motherfuckers and Benjamin Crump who ain't trying to bring no fucking justice instead of kicking it with the one guy who's the most passionate motherfucker in the world when it comes to getting justice for Brianna. You ignore me. You ignore me because you know I'm down to tell the fucking truth. And you're not on Team Truth right now. You're on Team Corruption. And I told you, and I meant this. If you was about justice for Brianna, I'd be your biggest fucking ally. But at the same time, I told you, if I find out that you're part of Team Corruption, I'm going to be your biggest fucking nightmare. But now, I'm fucking Freddy Cooper. Kendrick, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Oh, you better be worried. Thanks, Sam, you better be worried. Kendrick, Kendrick why am I going to worry? Because it's just going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, there's nothing else to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not talking about that. And that's it, people. That's it. That's the conversation between Breonna Taylor's lawyer, Sam Aguilar, and his investigator, Kendrick Wilson, talking about Sam selling out and not putting out the evidence that they had come up together with. And all of this. So I can only imagine, as upset as this young man is, the evidence, I can only imagine what kind of evidence they had come up with in this case. And what he's so upset about is the fact that they set on that evidence, settled this case, and in the settlement, uh, 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 the settlement includes an agreement where they destroy all of this evidence. And then Sam says that he turned all of this over evidence over to Cameron. And, and Kendrick's thing was, okay, well, if you turned all of this evidence over to Cameron, why didn't you call him out? So he's showing that everybody was corrupt. Everybody was a part of this setup. Everybody was in the mix. Her, uh, her, her, attor her attorneys, along with the county DA's office, uh, uh, Tom Wine along with all the police, uh, 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 along with, 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 with uh, uh, attorney, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron, all of them were a part of this setup to cover this mess up so that those police officers could get off for killing, for executing Breonna Taylor. Now that you understand the reason why the friend, like I said, I don't know when you see the picture, I don't know whether it's the girlfriend or whether it's just a friend or whatever. Now you see why she's standing there with this gun. Because nine times out of ten, there is now a target on 
Kendrick uh, Wilson. And so I would like to make this suggestion for all you riders and all you foundational black Americans who are really about that business in Kentucky. I suggest now that we kind of look out for, for, for Kendrick Wilson and, and give him some protection and give him some support and give him some backup because he's willing to put himself on the line for this. So he definitely needs some protection. He definitely needs somebody else to be watching his back. Because you you heard him just tell the, the, the lawyer that now you have become, I have become your worst nightmare. I'm Freddy Krueger to you and you better be worried about it. So that's how deep the, the corruption runs. So for all you black folks out there, all you foundational black Americans, if and God forbid, but if you find yourself in a position where one of your family members have been harmed or murdered by these race soldiers, please don't fool with uh, 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 with, 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 with uh, Ben Crump and don't fool with anybody that he recommends to you or Lee Merritt. Don't fool with them folks. Them folks are not about justice for black folks. They are not really about civil rights. They are not really civil rights attorneys. They are the equivalent of ambulance chasers. That's the reason why they're willing to come in and do so much work for you pro bono. It's because all they know, because they know at the end of the day, all they're going to do is settle the case. They're going to settle it. They're not going to take nothing to court. They're not, they're not going to push no civil rights issues in court against no police officers. They are settlement attorneys. Point blank period. Yes, there are attorneys that don't do anything but work on settlement. There are attorneys. They don't they, there are attorneys that don't believe in litigating anything in court. All they work on are settlements. So please leave these folks alone. These folks do not have the best interests of foundational black Americans in their hearts. All they have is a dollar. Especially when they put in all kinds of non-disparaging uh, non clauses and gag orders and all of this kind of stuff in these settlements, in these settlement agreements. And then you're going to agree to destroy all the evidence that you got that shows the corruption in, in not only the police office, but shows the corruption in law enforcement, shows the corruption in the prosecutor's office, and even shows the corruption all the way up to the state attorney general. But you're willing to sign a settlement that says that you have to destroy all that evidence. So, yes, Kendrick Wilson needs, he, he deserves and needs our support. And he also needs protection. So anybody that knows anybody in Kentucky, any riders in Kentucky, Y'all get in touch with that brother and offer him some protection. But I just wanted to bring y'all the latest information and let y'all know what's going on. And let y'all know just how deep this corruption runs. I believe these lawyers have hidden secret agreements with law enforcement to hurry up and step in in these cases so that they can, you know, uh, uh, get the family to move it in the direction of settlement instead of any real justice. And the only real justice in cases like this is to see the police officers to do stuff like this punished. But thank the Most High God, whatever you want to call it, thank the spirit of Ogun, whatever you want to call it, that this grand juror was like, no, 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 no. I can't rest with this. I can't rest with them laying all of this at our feet and then they get to walk away from it scot clean and they lay it at our feet and try to act like it was the decision that we made. When they were not ever even given the option of considering charging 
these folks with anything other than wanting endangerment. And then you got that that coon black ass collaborator, uh, 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 Daniel Cameron, coming out telling lies. So in the next few days, uh, uh, they're supposed to be releasing um, the transcripts and the audio recordings and all of this kind of stuff of the grand jury proceedings and all of that. We got to be careful we, we, we because uh, a, a judge is giving them enough time to talk about to black out names and addresses and all of this kind of stuff. When nine times out of ten, uh, a, a lot of the pertinent information will also be blacked out. Uh, uh, so, but, but, but we'll just see how far this grand juror is willing to push this thing. But the link to these articles, the link, of course, to um, that that recording of, of 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 the of the lawyer and Kendrick Wilson, all of this, the links to all of this information will be in the in the description box. Every bit of it will be in the description box. And um, we have taken care of making sure that even if they cause them to remove this video recording because it's very very possible that they may push to have this video recording removed we have kind of made sure that we still have a record of it we can still kind of keep track of it even if they remove it off of youtube I i'm sure it's other places and by now i'm quite sure vice probably has uh this same audio but i wanted y'all to hear it in, with your own ears and like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go back and hear it again because the first few minutes of it were kind of fuzzy. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to be able to go and, and, and get in a quiet space and listen to yourself. And you can hear clearly uh, 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 one guy calling the other guy Sam over and over and over again. And you can hear the other guy calling the other guy Kendrick over and over and over again. And they make it clear that they're talking about the evidence that they had come up with in the Breonna Taylor case. So, you know, y'all, uh, please like this video. Please share this information. Please share this information. Please have this conversation. Share this information on your social media. Share this information with your family and friends. Let everybody know what's going on. Everybody needs to be aware. Remember, we just talked about consciousness. And we talked about consciousness is not just being woke, but it's being awake and aware. And you're constantly building your awareness. You're constantly uh, developing your awareness. Again, I say, Kendrick Wilson needs our support. He needs for us to be behind him. And he also needs protection. So anybody in that Louisville area, those true riders, foundational black Americans who are true riders get with this brother because he needs that protection because just having this type of information and letting folks know that you have this type of information puts a bigger target on his back if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we upload videos but again please have these conversations please let everybody know what's going on share this stuff on your social media go to that link that'll be in the description box share this this recorded uh, uh, uh audio on your social media so more and more people can be aware of just how deep this thing goes when it comes to police to, to, to protecting law enforcement, when it comes to making sure that law enforcement is allowed to murder black people with impunity without having to worry about any punishment whatsoever. And everybody is a part of making sure that they're not punished. We got to blow the lid off of this stuff. You know, for years, people have been telling us that this is going on. People have been telling us to watch these prosecutors, have been telling us to watch these judges, have been telling us that it's, that it, that it's all a setup, that they're all in the mix together. But now all the evidence of that is being presented to us.
for years. People have been speaking against attorneys like Ben Crump and, 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 and S. Lee Merritt and all of them. And saying that they were a part of this whole corrupt system, this whole white supremacy corrupt system. And now that evidence is coming out. Do you think for one minute that Ben Crump didn't know about all of this? Do you think for one minute that Ben Crump didn't know about all the information and all the evidence that Kendrick Wilson had come up with? Yeah, he knew because he was turning it over to them. But then you're going to go sign a settlement agreement that says that you have to destroy whatever evidence you have. So, yes, please talk about this. Please share this information. Please get down in that description box. Go read this stuff for yourself and please go listen to that audio for yourself. And y'all, please, let's get on code and let's stay on code. We got to. We've been voting for 50 years and look how deep it is. We've been voting for 50 years and look how deep it is. Look how deep the filth, the dirt, the corruption, the wickedness, look how deep it goes. But we've been voting for 50 plus years. So if voting had the ability to change anything, we wouldn't be looking at this. This is not what we would be seeing right now. This is not what we would be discussing right now. We wouldn't have to keep having these conversations. We wouldn't have to keep doing these kind of videos. There would be no need for a thing called the new black media. If voting did any good, if voting changed anything. So this is just more evidence, more proof that we as foundational black Americans need to sit this shit out. We don't need to keep be, uh, being complacent in this system. We don't need to keep showing our support for this system that we claim we want to get rid of. This system that we claim we don't want to be a part of. This system that it, it, that clearly discriminates against us, oppresses us, tries to it, it kills us. It, uh, uh, we keep saying we don't want to be a part of this system. We want to get rid of this system. But yet we keep supporting it by gifting our vote to it. By gifting our power to this system. So anybody, any foundation of black American that's even considering voting for anybody. You are the equivalent of somebody sitting with a gun to their head playing Russian roulette. And we know for a fact that you have at least two black men involved in this whole setup. A.G., Daniel Cameron, and Ben Crump. Those are two black men that we already know are part of this setup, that are part of the system, that work with the system of white supremacy against us. So any foundational black American with any inkling of voting for anybody, Again, I equate you to somebody sitting with a bullet to your head. I mean, with a gun to your head playing Russian roulette. You just keep clicking and clicking and clicking, waiting for that one that's going to blow your brains out. Well, I'm not suicidal. I'm not suicidal. And I'm not going to keep and continue to lend my support and lend my power to a system that I'm trying to destroy. The system of white supremacy. So y'all be safe. Y'all be smart. Let's get on code and let's stay on code. You understand what I'm saying? And let's ponder this stuff. Really think about this stuff. Use the brain that God gave you for, for more than just something up there moving around and it's about halfway dead because you don't use it to think for yourself. Use that brain. Use your brain power to think for yourself. And help other people to think for themselves and to see the truth. It's time for everybody to just see and acknowledge, accept the truth. All the voting in the world ain't going to change this. We want a different result. It's time for us to do something different.
But that's all I got for y'all tonight. Um, uh, 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 again, as soon as possible, I'll come up with some more. I'll keep you posted. As soon as I get new updates and new breaking news, I will bring it to you. Um, but yeah, y'all get in that description box. Uh, 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 read these articles. Please listen to this audio. Please share this information. Please like this video. And I'll be back with you guys soon. Y'all have a good night.